what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh today i'm gonna be doing uh coolant bleeding on my m3 uh this is the same routine any e36 e46 similar method um a lot of different cars i just changed my whole coolant system uh if you guys didn't see that video it'll be in the description um you need to do this every time you um Let's say you change a hose, change a water pump, whatever, or you take a hose off and you let air into the system. So here I have um, one gallon of BMW coolant and one of distilled water. Uh, this is what you use um, uh, for a 50-50 mix since BMW doesn't have their own 50-50. This is pure 100% coolant. Just put, it should take around both of these together give or take right now the coolant system is for the most part completely empty there's no no coolant no nothing inside so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna first pour some water pour some coolant about like a quarter a quarter of the gallon and then the same for the water and then i'm gonna just keep going till i can fill this whole reservoir up. once i fill up the reservoir then we can start the car and move on forward. You could sort of hear like a hissing noise once I start pouring. I open the blader screw just a tad, like it's barely on there. So all the air could come out once I put the fluid in. Also, what I like to do, I like to like press on the hoses. Like pump the hoses, so any air. Once I pump the hoses, you hear air coming out of the bleeder screw. So the more air comes out, the more coolant could go inside. You guys can see the levels going down going down so just keep doing this until the reservoir can't take any more coolant the reservoir's topped off now we're gonna start the car. You wanna have your heat in the highest setting in 90. And you also wanna have your the switch over here turned up. Um I do it on my I leave it on fan one. I feel that that works the best. Right now we're just gonna leave the car running to get up to operating temperature and just keep an eye on the reservoir uh, it's full now we gotta wait until it goes to operating temperature so the thermostat can open up and the uh, coolant can run through the entire engine so uh hasn't yet reached operating temperature uh, it did go down a little you want to leave this the bleeder screw a little bit open so this will be closed you want to open it a couple of times just so that any air pockets can come out you can kind of see the air bubbles coming out of the bleeder screw We got to operating temperature. We just want to keep an eye on your gauge and on your level. The thermostat still hasn't opened up because this, the lower hose, is still cold while the upper is hot. So once the uh, thermostat opens up and lets coolant into the whole engine and that's when you're gonna see a drop in the reservoir level so now the lower hose is hot you can 
see the level. The level dropped a little bit uh, once the thermostat opened up. You gotta be patient. You gotta let the car do its thing. Uh, these cars take, you know, they take their time bleeding. Temp gauge still in the middle. You guys, you guys want to hear it, so might as well, right? You see nothing like happening. Close the cap so the cooling system can build pressure inside and just keep playing with the bleeder screw. So now I have the, the reservoir cap on. You kind of see the bubbles coming out slowly. You know the car is properly bled when you can feel the heat. Is that full? Um, uh, it's full blowing setting. It's warm. So I turned off the car, let the car um, cool down a little bit. Um, but that's about it. Uh, with these cars, you always want to keep checking the fluid. Let's say you let it sit today, tomorrow, check the fluid because they like to bleed on their own time. You guys should definitely take it on a road test. Uh, make sure it doesn't overheat. Um, that's about it. It's nothing much to it. If you guys learned something new from this video, make sure to give it a like. Uh, comment down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. See you guys on the next one.